हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर पूजा श्रीवास्तव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बीबीडी यूनिवर्सिटी स्कूल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट लखनऊ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक फाइनल अकाउंट्स फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंशियल एनालिसिस फाइनल अकाउंट द अकाउंट व्हिच आर प्रिपेयर्ड एट द फाइनल स्टेज ऑफ द अकाउंटिंग साइकिल to know the profit or loss and financial position of a business concern are called final accounts every businessman enters into business activities to earn profit it is the accounting that shows profit or loss of a business concern the role of accounting is to complete the financial record of a business in such a manner that yields the profit or loss of the business we have already learned that all the transactions of a business are in the first instance recorded in the books of original entry then these transactions are posted into ledgers in classified form these transactions transactions are then summarized and arithmetical accuracy is checked by the means of a trial balance that is we prepare the trial balance to check the arithmetical accuracy of the journal and ledger the accounting cycle begins with the recording of the transactions in the books of original entry and ends with the preparation of final accounts as these accounts are prepared at the final stage of accounting cycle that's why these are called final accounts the, these accounts consist of the following first in final account we prepare trading account in which in which we calculate the gross profit or gross loss the second one is the pl account in which we calculate net profit or net loss and at the last we prepare balance sheet which shows the financial position of the business in this way we can say in final accounts we prepare two statements first is the uh, income statement which consist of trading account and pl account and second is the position statement which consist of balance sheet that shows the assets and liability position of business concern objectives of preparation of final accounts to ascertain the result of the transaction while preparation of preparing the final account we can ascertain the results of the transaction ki what is the exact position in the context of income and balance sheet of the business and second one is to know the financial position of the business in which we calculate the balance sheet which shows the liability and, and assets position of a business concern trial balance the basis of final accounts basically we see uh, the basis of the final account is the trial balance the basis of final account is trial balance and which um, consists of the ledger accounts it includes the account balance of expenses revenue assets liabilities capitals and drawing a trial balance has two columns debit and credit debit balances usually represent expenses assets drawings and these appear in the debit column of the trial balance credit balances generally represent revenue capital and liability and these appear in the credit column of trial balance from trial balance expenses and revenues are transferred to trading and pl accounts while assets liabilities and drawings are transferred to balance sheet and now we will discuss what is, what is trading account trading account shows the result of buying and selling of goods it is prepared to determine the gross profit or gross loss of a trader it is prepared at the stage of the final account preparation on the debit side we shows all the direct expenses because uh, it is a nominal account that that that's why all the expenses are shown on the debit side of the trading account and all the incomes which is directly uh, directly incurred from the operations of the business are shown on the credit side of the trading account gross profit or gross loss as we know in trading account we calculate gross profit or gross loss in this way uh, in accounting parlance gross profit or gross loss is the difference between sales proceeds 
of a certain period and the cost of goods actually sold in the same period. Gross profit is made when the sale proceeds exceeds the cost of goods sold. Gross profit means a overall profit. Overall profit means operating expenses such as administrative and selling expenses are not deducted from it. If sales proceeds are less than the cost of goods sold, gross loss is incurred. The balance of the trading account, which represents either gross profit or gross loss, is transferred to the PL account, that is profit and loss account. Features of trading account. Trading account is a nominal account and it is prepared on the last day of an accounting year. As we know, it is a nominal account that is all the direct expenses are shown on the debit side of the trading account and all the direct income uh, which uh, that is sales proceeds and closing stocks are shown on the credit side of the trading account. Advantages of trading account. Trading account discloses gross profit from which all expenses are deducted to find out the true profit of the business that is net profit. Gross profit of a business is very important data since all business expenses are met out of gross profit. So the amount of the gross profit should be adequate to meet all the expenses. The progress or failure of a business can be ascertained by comparing net sales of the current year with that of the last year. It is to be noted here that increase in the amount of net sales of current year over the last year may not always be regarded as a sign of success since sales may increase because, the, because of the rise in price level. Conversely, a fail in amount of net sales of the current year over last year may decrease because of the fail fall in the price level. That is why it is very much important to know the direct uh, income that is the gross profit or gross loss out of a business concern. Profit and loss account. The second statement which we prepare in a final account is the profit and loss account. The account that shows annual net profit or no, net sales, net loss of a business is called PL account that is profit and loss account. It is prepared to determine the net profit or net loss of a trader. PL account is a component of final account. The following items usually appear on the debit or credit side of a PL account. On the debit side, we show the gross loss and all indirect expenses expenses. Indirect expenses are those expenses which has been indirectly involved uh, while the operations of any business activity. And, and on credit side, we show gross profit and all indirect revenues that is revenues from the other source that is income from the other sources in a business concern. Net profit or net loss. Net profit or net loss is the difference between total revenue of a certain period and the total expenses of the same period. Net profit is made when the total revenue exceed the total expenses. If the total of revenue is less than the total expense, the net loss is incurred. The balance of profit and loss account which represent either net profit or net loss is transferred to the capital account. Preparation of the PL account. For preparing the PL account, that is profit and loss account, closing entries shall be made in the journal proper. Though these entries, items of revenue and expense related to profit and loss accounts are closed by transferring their balances to PL account. Accounts of indirect expenses, that is expenses which could not find place in trading account, such as office salaries rent, depreciation, etc. are closed by transferring to the debit side of the PL account. Uh, uh, similarly, accounts related to other sources of the income such as commissions or discount received, etc. shall be shown on the credit side of the PL account. 
if we uh, uh, consider of the format of the pl account so this is the format of the uh, pl account it is likewise the trading account there are the two sides of the pl account one is debit side and second one is the credit side in this also we show the income and expenses that is why all the expenses uh, should be shown on the debit side of the uh, pl account and uh, all the indirect income that is the income from the other sources should be shown on the credit side of the pl account the last statement which we prepare in the final account which is known as the position statement in which we prepare balance sheet a balance sheet is a list of all assets and claims over a business at some specific point of time and is prepared from an adjusted trial balance it shows the financial position of the business by detailing the source of fund and utilization of these funds a balance sheet shows the assets and liability grouped properly classified and arranged in a specific manner the balance sheet is a component of final account which shows the financial position of the business in which we show the assets and liability position of the business okay, what are the total assets and liabilities of the business assets if we talk about the assets so all those things which are of business is known as the asset we categorize assets in uh, basically in all, uh, the following category that is long term asset all those assets which are in the business for more than one year is known as long term asset current assets all those are assets which are in the business for less than one year is known as the current asset that is cash debtors raw material etc intangible asset intangible assets are those assets which cannot be touched like goodwill patent copyright etc liabilities liabilities are those which we have to pay to the other people we categorize liabilities into the two categories first one is the long term liabilities all those liability which the business has to pay pay for more, in more than one years are known as the long term liabilities like long term loan etc current liabilities are those liabilities which the business has to pay within a year like trade payables creditors out standing expenses etc preparation of balance sheet basically all these items are shown in the balance sheet that is cash account receivable inventory fixed assets uh, account payable accrued liability debt other liability etc this is the format of a balance sheet in which on the left hand side we shows all the liabilities and on the right hand side we shows all the assets and after the completion of balance sheet uh, both the sides of the assets and liability of a balance sheet should be equal which justify for every debit there is a credit and for if there is a, a giver then other one is a receiver because we know in business all the assets are is equal to equities and equities are claim against those assets that is why uh, a balance sheet uh, exist in a true manner when both the sides of the balance sheet is equal in this way we can say while the preparation of final account we consider the three kind of statement first one is a trading account in which we prepare uh, uh, we calculate gross profit or gross loss second one is the net uh, net profit and loss account in which we calculate the net profit or net loss and third one is the balance seat all three statements together um, tells about the income and position of a business and which is very mandatory very much mandatory for the preparation of a final account thank you